Hey guys and welcome back. Today I am doing my April inspired makeup look. Once again, I have no idea how this look is going to turn out. I don't know what I want to do. I have really no clue. I haven't even thought about what makeup look I want to do, but it is currently 6.30 on a Thursday evening. I just thought it would be a good time to use whatever's remaining of the sun to film a video. So that is what's happening today. I'm not drinking coffee or tea. I actually have a glass of wine. If you guys enjoy this video, thank you so much for watching and let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, I want to start with the eyes, I think, and I'm going to use my palette of the month, which is Flutter by, but I think before I use that, I'm going to line my lids or my lash lines with this ColourPop Juniper Eyeliner. And I'm just going to line very close to the lash line. I've been liking this eyeliner technique lately where I kind of just line my lash line and then smudge it out. Sorry if the lighting is starting to get bad because like I said, it's 6.30. The sun's not supposed to set until I think 7.45 now, but it's kind of fading in my bedroom a little bit. Then I'm going to take a smudger brush. I'm just brown, smaller smudger brush from BH Cosmetics. And I think I'm gonna take this brown shade. Well, it's like a light rosy brown. Use this to kind of smudge out this brown liner. I just like to apply it right on top. Um, sometimes I will not add a shadow. Sometimes I will just smudge out the liner with this brush and not add anything else, but I think for this video, I'm going to add this liner to smudge it out a bit. My skin is so discolored right now. I feel like everywhere it's just like patches of red and it's very discolored. I don't know what is going on with my skin today. Then I'm going to take a fatter or a thicker blending brush and I'm going to take, I think I want to take this movie shade, which is called Wild Wing. And I'm going to just take this one right here and use it in my, oh yeah, this shade is super powdery. But I'm going to use this one in my crease to just blend in the shades here. Even though this is like a mauve palette, like the color story is pretty mauve and like purpley, it doesn't actually show up that purpley. I have really been down this week. I don't know why, it's just one of those weeks where I just feel super down about life in general. And then it has been really bad where I live. The numbers have been horrible and it's just been a rotten week. I really did not like this week, even though it was a short week. It's the week after the Easter long weekend. So I've only had to work Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, but it, it's just been not a great week. I don't know why I'm feeling so down lately. It must just be getting to me a little bit. It's been so long. And even though I don't really want it to go back to totally normal and I don't want to have to go back into the office full time. I'm just feeling a little bit, just kind of want things to be over and back to somewhat normal again. Um, I'm gonna take this shade right here. It's also a mauve, it's actually kind of similar, but it has a little bit of sparkle in it. It's called Mariposa, and I'm gonna just take this one into my crease as well. The nice thing is I got to visit my grandma for the first time. We haven't seen her in over a year the last time we would have seen her was March 2020 and it's now April. Finally let visitors go inside her care home where she is and it's just, it was so nice to see her. I don't know if she could totally recognize me. She has dementia um, and she, we were also wearing masks so I don't know if she totally recognized me but it was just nice to be able to, to see her, you know? Okay, and I think I'm gonna take a flat shader brush and go in with the shade Get Away. I do want to add a little bit of sparkle, but I think I want to set the base with this shimmery shade first. I always forget how powdery these shadows are from ColourPop. Not all of them, but just some of them are so powdery that they just get like everywhere. This one here in Getaway is really, for like a metallic shade, it's very crumbly. Also, I have like a dry patch on my eye right here, so if you see like a bump on my lid, that's what that is. I want to just use this one in the inner corner too, since we have it. And then I'm going to take that 
initial brush we used and I'm going to dip into the shade Float On, which again has a little bit of glitter in it, but not a ton. And it's not super noticeable, but I'm going to just build this shade into the outer corner a bit. I haven't done a heavy eyeshadow look in a long time, I just realized. I don't even know when the last time I did one. I feel like I've just, anytime I'm on camera, I just do really simple like liner mascara looks and I barely spend any time doing eyeshadows, so I'm a little bit rough, rough around the edges today. And I'm gonna go back in with that fluffy shade and just blend, blend, blend. We're gonna move on and do the face. I'm gonna take my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer and apply this in the center of my face on the areas where I feel like my pores stand out a bit, which is pretty much the T-zone. And then I'm gonna just blend that in with my hand, rub it into my skin. I really like this primer. I didn't really like it when I first got it, but as I've used it more and more, I just feel like my makeup looks so smooth when I have it on, and then when I don't have it on, it's like noticeably less smooth and it has more texture, so this primer must be doing something. I brightened it a little bit because the light is definitely fading, but I'm going to then use some concealer. This is the XX Revolution Concealer in the shade CX. 5.7. I'm just going to apply some under my eyes, around my mouth area, on my chin, and then a little bit, well pretty much just around my mouth area, and then on the center of my forehead as well. I don't think I'm going to go in with a foundation today. I really should because I don't wear foundation very often anymore, so I figured when I wear when I'm filming a video, I might as well wear it, but I don't know, it's late in the evening and I don't wanna do a full face. So we're just gonna go with concealer. I'm just blending it out with one of these flat foundation brushes from BH Cosmetics. Just making sure that's super blended in. I look ghostly now that I've brightened the screen, but let's go in with some bronzer. I'm gonna take the Rimmel contour stick in the shade light and I'm going to just use it to chisel out my cheeks a little bit. I really need to start using different products on my skin because I feel like I always use the same products in videos and you guys are probably tired of seeing the same products all the time. Also this brush that I'm using from Real Techniques, it definitely had blush on it still. We're stuck cleaning my brushes and if the bronzer is looking a little bit pink now that I've blended it out, it's because of the brush which has pink on it. We're gonna go in with the Between the Sheets by ColourPop. This is their Super Shock Blush and I think it matches my eye look today the best. I do have a ton of other blushes that I love, like cream brushes, cream blushes that I love, but I think this one matches me the most, like my eye look the most right now. So I'm just gonna take it right up to my nose and kind of drag it a little bit up towards my temple as well. To make it all easier, I just use all the same brushes. I do really love this blush though. It's very like youthful looking. It's so simple. And even though it is a neutral color, I feel like it pulls a little bit warmer on my skin. And I just really like the overall look that it gives my skin. I've been wearing it so much lately, so I go a little bit heavy with the blush. I'm debating using a little bit of this, which is the Maybelline Strobing Cream. It's like their liquid highlighter. I might just pop on a little bit because I have it out now. I'm just like kind of not sure if I even want a highlighter. Oh God, and I forgot how intense it was. I'm just gonna blend it out with my finger. Well, actually once you blend it out, it's not that bad, but it's pretty intense. I'm just gonna take whatever was left on my finger and, and apply that to my nose chin, cupid's bow, etc. Okay, and then for 
powder I'm gonna just set I've been trying to use this up so it's my essence no what no it's my Rimmel Insta fix and matte setting powder so I'm gonna just apply it under my eyes and kind of in my t-zone area so on my cheeks and then chin and I just kind of sweep over whatever's left on the brush on the rest of my face since I'm not really wearing a foundation it's not super important to set everything but I'm just going to also apply some in the center of my forehead as well I'm just going to spritz my face with this setting spray from Maybelline it's their lasting fix setting spray mine is almost out so I got to be careful I don't get splatters everywhere and I'm just gonna let this dry and then I will pop back on we'll finish up the eyes I already did my brows not well but I did do them and then it's just eyes and lips and we are done okay it's not fully dried yet but I want to go on and finish the eyes I actually kind of did most of the eyes now that I think about it but I wanted to add a little bit more of the dark brown shade this one right here to the lower lash line because I haven't done that yet. I just want to add a little bit as close to the lash line as I can and just mainly sticking to the outer corner of my lash line. And I am very tempted to add a little bit of the glitter. I think I'm going to just take it with my finger. I always like want to do this and then I regret it, but I'm going to just pop a little bit of that glitter onto the inner half of my lid. Adds so much sparkle, sparkle and glitz to the look. I will regret it in the morning when I find glitter all over my face. Okay, we're going to curl the lashes, apply some mascara, and then add a lip product. My mascara is running out. It's actually time to toss this one. I think I picked it up in December. I need to pick up a new mascara, so if you guys have any drugstore recommendations for mascaras, let me know. I'm kind of debating between that new one from L'Oreal or the one from Maybelline that everyone's talking about. So I'm debating between one of those two, but if you guys have recommendations for mascaras, let me know and that completes the eye look just very simple added a little bit of glitter i'm going to apply the velvet kiss lip crayon from makeup revolution this one is in the shade heart race and i'm going to uh i think i thought this one was going to be more mauve not quite as peachy it's it's pretty peachy it's not totally the color I was going for. I'm gonna try applying a gloss on top. This is the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip, lip Gloss in the shade Fairy Floss. It's kind of pigmented and it's it's got a bit of like a lighter, cooler tone color to it. I don't like this gloss formula, but I wanted something to make this lip color a little bit less pink. I don't know if that helped. <laughs> I really don't like the lip color. I'm like debating just taking it all off. I know I'm gonna remove the lip color. I do not like how it looks with this eye look. I'm gonna see if this nude from Maybelline will look better. I'm just terrible at picking colors today. This is more buff from the Maybelline Slim or Ultimate Slim lipstick line. Okay, this one looks a little bit better. I'm still not the biggest fan, but that'll have to do. And I'm going to fix that haphazard <laughs> application that looks so bad. Um, I'm going to just apply a little bit of the gloss, the same one on top in Fairy Floss. And that completes this video. This is my April inspired makeup look. I actually really like this palette. I can't wait to wear it more often this month. Not a fan of this lip combo with the eye look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you would like more spring makeup looks in the future. Thank you as always for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more videos. And I will see you in my next one.